Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're playing a game. We love to play games. So who will be the victor? Both of us. Yeah. It's not that kind of game. Right. All right, so today we're playing This or That. Now, if you're new, hello and welcome. Hello. <laughs> we're normally eating food at this table, and today we're talking about it. But we do love to play games, as maybe you can tell. We are in our game room right now. So uh, when we go live, a lot of times we like to play a little word game. Yeah, stuff like this. And so, yeah, so we thought we'd just share this with you today. So This or That is a game of absolutes. It's all or nothing. You're gonna be given two choices and it is forever. You're only allowed to have one and never again in your life the other. Now thank God okay? this is just hypothetical and we're just playing a game. It's not for real, right? Yes, it's just a game. All right, some okay. of these will be easier I think than others. I mean, that's the nature of it, right? Okay. These so... are all, oops, sorry. And they're all food related. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So the first question that I have for you, for this or that. We both have to answer them. Oh. Uh, bagels or donuts? Forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Donuts. For sure. I love a good bagel. I love an mm -hmm. everything bagel. Some, you know, pile on the cream cheese on it, but come on. Donuts. Well, with everything bagel seasoning, it can taste like having bagels on other things. Ew. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> no, we liked it. We liked it. Donuts with everything bagel? No, I'm saying you could put the everything bagel seasoning on other oh, things and still have that same. I thought you were saying I put them on donuts. No. That's, All right, ready? That's almost like having a Pop Tart that tastes like everything bagel cream cheese. Let's not go down that road again. Bagel. Let's not. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles for sure. Waffles for sure. That's a no-brainer for me. Yeah, I like a good pancake, but uh, come on, waffles is the vehicle that you can add a lot of other stuff to. They hold up a little bit better than pancakes. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a good pancake. That, you know, I'm not throwing shade, but if I had to pick one, waffles. For sure. They hold up better. Mm -hmm. yep, and they have little compartments to hold all the maple syrup. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. And if you load up just as much maple syrup on a pancake, It'll get all soggy. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mush. Yeah. It'll turn to mush. I don't agree with your statement <laughs> there, but okay. Too much maple syrup. It will turn to mush. There could be enough maple syrup where it's not mush, and then there's too much maple syrup that turns it to mush. Yes, I understand. Not Next. That there's too much maple syrup. <laughs> Never. No. Uh, Italian or Mexican food? 100%. Mexican food. It is a tough decision because I love some good Italian food. I mean, I do too, but a hundred percent Mexican food is my favorite, favorite, favorite. <clears throat> so, I mean, I would miss all, but I didn't think about carbonara. Yeah. I mean, does pizza count? <laughs> no. Um, I didn't think about carbonara, but yeah, it would still be Mexican. Yeah, it would be Mexican food for me as well. Um, what am I, but this could be jump of the gun on a later question or whatever, but I love tacos. Yeah, me too. I love all things. Yeah. I mean, I love Italian food too, like I said, but if I had to choose one, Mexican for sure. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Red sauce or white sauce? Hmm. In oh, things, on things, tomato sauce or, you know, cream based sauce. Well, I can't have it anymore because that's uh, Italian, right? It's not just pasta, ah. it's, um, it's pizza, it's everything that you would use a sauce in or on. Oh boy. You know, like on top of your enchiladas or on top of, I'm picking white 100% because of cheese sauce, like mac and cheese, 100%. Yeah, one of my favorite sauces, I guess, to have on stuff is like uh, Alfredo, so I'm going to say white as well. We're kind of both on the same track here, aren't we? Huh? Hmm, maybe we should get married Ooh. or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. I got to make a decision on this. Mayo or ketchup? Mayo. 100%. I'm going to say mayo as well. 
I'm not really a big fan of either one of them, but like I will have mayo on a BLT. Mm -hmm. I'll have mayo on burgers. He has like mayo that. more often than he knows. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Just, just a <laughs> whisper. That's what we always say. Just a little bit. Okay, this one is gonna. I might have to hold you through this while you, while you work this one out. Oh, okay? oh no. Cake or cookies? Oh boy. Cookies, one hundred percent. What kind of hellish reality mm -hmm. is this that we're trying to think of here? This is our own Squid Game. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I would rather die. <laughs> cookies um, for me. Cookies for you? I'm going to say cake. It's going to mm. be cake. You know why uh, I say cookies? Division. Yeah. Well, the reason I say cookies is they're like grab and go. Where I think about cake, you have to like go through the whole thing of like making a cake every time. And if that was, I don't know. I just like, and like holiday cookies and million dollar cookies. and. But how could you ever have another birthday? You could have something else. I like to have ice cream for birthdays. Anyway, cookies. Let us know whose side cake you're on. It's our first division. Are you team cake or team cookie or biscuit? Let us know. Okay? All right. Chinese takeout or sushi? Oh. We both love them both. We do. So, like lo mein and fried rice and... You know, like, oh, you know what else we loved? This would have been a good one for us. Sushi or dim sum? Ooh. Dim sum for sure for me. Yeah. Anyway, uh, in that situation, we recently fell in love with sushi burritos and sushi nachos and sushi fries at this little fusion place we have in town. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, Chinese takeout over sushi. I am that too. hurts my heart. But it does, yeah. There, I think there's more variety there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to say Chinese takeout as well, but I love sushi, so that would be heartbreaking. Yeah, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't get down with yeah. sushi. I, right. I like the kind with tempura shrimp. You know, a lot of people say, I don't eat stuff that's, um, raw, which is fine. Uh, a lot of people agree with that. But for me, when I get sushi, most of mine is cooked. <laughs> yeah. I get tempura shrimp in it and it's, it's still cold, but it's cooked. Yeah. Anyway. I like the raw stuff too. Okay. Next. Uh, Whose turn is it? Yours. This is easy. And this is going to be a division. Coke or Pepsi? One, two, three. Coke. Pepsi. Really? Well, mm -hmm. I didn't know that about you. <clears throat> I'm one of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like Pepsi. Uh, I grew up drinking Pepsi. Um, I did too. I think that's why it is for me. Yeah, and every once in a while we'd have Coke. I don't know, it kind of switched back and forth. But um, My parents were divided on the Coke and Pepsi issue. Yeah. <laughs> and then at some point, I don't remember which one. I'll have to ask somebody. I'll have to ask. I'm the baby in my family, so is John. I'll have to ask an older sibling who won. I can't remember who was Team Pepsi or Team Coke, but I know they ended up being Team Coke because mm. it got to be ridiculous. We're not buying all the different varieties. It ended up it, it being Diet Coke exclusively. I love Cherry Coke Zero. That's probably my favorite. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's the reason. Well, I'm a Mountain Dew girl, as yeah. you know, and right. that is Team Pepsi. But also, if I'm going to have a brown beverage, which I normally don't, but if I do, I prefer Pepsi. I think if the choice was, like, Fountain Pepsi, I love Fountain Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Fountain Pepsi is really good. Uh, but, like, some of the canned and stuff, it loses its fizziness pretty quick, especially the diet, so. Yeah. All right. All right. Next, we have, <clears throat> oh boy, potatoes or rice? Potatoes. Mm. Um, uh, mm. You know why for me? I mean, I love fried rice and I love like fajita bowls and stuff. Uh, that'd be hard. But potatoes we use in soups and stews <clears throat> and you can make them crispy into like hash or they can be mm, mashed or they can be fried you know potatoes are also fries yeah or you know uh <sighs> chips but uh you've, yeah you've convinced me potatoes as well 
I, I love rice. Rice is good. I mean, that kind of like would get rid of a lot of different dishes that we could eat, but I mean, potatoes, fries, how could you do without fries? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Soup or salad? Salad. Soup. <gasps> <laughs> you, you would choose salad over soup. It's so cool. What is wrong with you? Crisp and good. Oh, I accept it if it was yours. So, <laughs> of course, you know. We love taco salad. That's one of our favorite things to have. I love a good. Which isn't really a salad. <laughs> well, yeah. But I also love uh, cob salad, and I love a good chopped salad. Oh, I would good really, good. I would really miss salad. But soup can be healthy or not. Right. And I feel like on day, days when you're being good, a good brothy kind of soup makes you. Feel, nobody wants to eat salad when they don't feel good. I mean, sorry if you do, but you know, it's there's something comforting about. Soup. Sure, it warms you up and everything, but I love how a, like a nice salad, cool and crisp. Oh, I do too. When everything's delicious. fresh and yes. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that too, but soup. All right. Next, fries or onion rings? Oh. I love onion rings. Oh, There's a too. place when we travel that we always have to get, if we're traveling to Colorado, which is our favorite place to travel to, we always have to stop or I always want to, <laughs> I should say, at Runza. They don't oh, make yeah. you choose there. They give you both, which yeah, I love. Yeah, they call love. it rings. I love that. Fries and you rings. Get fries and onion rings. I don't know why more places don't do that, because I think it'd be super popular. Yeah. Um, uh, fries. Yeah, definitely fries. If I could have onions in every other kind of way, I would be okay with... Without having onion rings. Yeah, yeah. I mean... But I would, that'd be difficult, <clears throat> but... I could do it. <laughs> it would be difficult to just do onion rings, though. Like, all of our fast food places, all except for, well, even Taco Bell now serves fries. But, yeah. Um, they all serve fries. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be hard-pressed to find something else. So. That's right. Are you ready? Is it me? I'm ready. It's you. Okay. Macaron or macaroon? Ooh, that's a good one. They're, so, they're both so good. Yeah. Um, I will say macaron. Me too. For the variety factor, yeah. I think. But some of the macaroons are so good. We've tried some from Aldi. They're delicious. Yeah, those were good. But I like the idea of, I mean, you can do a million different things and they make them creamy or they put some with jam in there. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I have no idea what just happened out on the street, but... I don't know. <laughs> All I mean, right. It seems like every time we film here, there's noises going on. That's right. Chicken or ribs? Chicken. Ribs. Really? Yeah. I might be able to convince you otherwise. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I just feel like chicken is so versatile. It is. It is versatile. And it's cheaper than ribs, but... I just think oh, I, just I could... I could... I, I do love ribs, too, but I think I could forego that and have barbecued chicken. Barbecued chicken on the grill is amazing. Oh, it is delicious. You so, are correct about that. Chicken for me. Let me know what I you just, think. I just can't. I just can't say that I could get rid of ribs. I just can't. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll you just, eat your ribs, I'll have my fried I, chicken. I'll eat some other bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, hamburgers or hot dogs hamburgers for sure hamburgers 100 percent you know how i love myself a hot dog uh -huh. that but... is john's lunch a lot of times yeah right? but you know so are burgers and they're so versatile you can do so many different things with them i look you know Love. But it does take a little bit longer. You can come home and heat up a couple of hot dogs either in the microwave, on the stove, in the air fryer. Hamburgers take a little bit more yeah. prep and time and all of that. But hamburgers, there is nothing, not even a steak, I don't think, smells as good as a hamburger. And fight me if you oh, want to. Oh, no, uh, a know. hamburger on the, grill on the grill smells for miles and miles and miles. You can smell it. It smells yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, Hot dogs are, I mean, I can eat a hot dog, especially if when we go to Chicago. I always feel like getting a good, like, Chicago dog. But on the regular, hamburgers. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, pizza or tacos?
That one is so <laughs> sad. It is very That's sad. That's the hardest one I think we've had so far for me. Two of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. I'm saying pizza. Because we live in the home of taco pizza. And so if I wanted those flavors, I mean, I know it wouldn't be the same, but yeah, pizza. I would have to. I, I would really hate to get rid of pizza, but I'd have to do it. Tacos are my favorite favorite. I would have to. Yeah. yeah. John loves tacos. <laughs> yeah. Let's make pizza tacos. Here's the thing. <laughs> See, I can make taco pizza, but I don't know about making pizza tacos. But if you've been around for a while, you know that we love to take a leftover or we love to do a good like tweak on a recipe and we'll turn whatever into a pizza or into a taco. Like we do that with other stuff. Let's make Reuben pizza. Let's make Reuben tacos or yeah. whatever it is. So um, we just did a new one of those this week. I don't know which video is going to be out. Yeah. So be looking for that. Um, yeah, pizza. You can turn See, anything into pizza. Well, that's even true. Even dessert. That's true. But I just got to remember, like the last time that we made tacos at home, I remember eating them and just being so happy. Just so happy. Maybe it's amazing how tacos hey, made me so Maybe that happy. wasn't the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Did no, you ever consider the, that? No, it was the tacos. <laughs> Get, don't touch me. <laughs> okay, ready? I think so. This one's gonna be hard for you too. Chips or crisps? Or. Uh, chips. No. Oh, that was. Or that. whatever you call them. Or popcorn. We love popcorn in this house. Popcorn. Gotta have it. Oh my gosh, I can't decide. It's gotta be popcorn. I think it's popcorn. I mean, what are you going to do? Go to the movies and eat chips? No. Here's the thing. You know what I think of? I don't think of popcorn. I mean, I do like our popcorn, but I think about our caramel corn and never having oh, that yeah. again. Right. And I don't know, but I love chips so much. Uh, yeah, pop uh, popcorn. I'll just say it. Go ahead. I'd popcorn. Say it. I'm saying it. Okay. Last one. Uh, savory snacks or sweet snacks? Savory. Sweet. I mean, I love a good chip, I love popcorn, I love that stuff, but man, if you had to get rid of the sweets, mm-mm. I could do that easier so. than John, for sure. John's always like, okay, so we finished our popcorn, uh, what are we going to have that's sweet now? Like, he <laughs> yeah. always wants both. I have a sweet too. But if he has sweet, he doesn't always have to have salty, but if he has salty, he has to have sweet. Ooh, but I love a snack that's salty and sweet. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, my last one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Eat in. Or eat out exclusively. Mm. You're talking about eating in at home? Yes, you can never okay. eat out or you have to eat out every meal. Oh, at home. Yeah. For sure. For sure. We love to cook. I think if we didn't love to cook, eating out would be a little bit easier, but I would, we're never gonna go to a restaurant and find. I mean, some people are going to cook things way better than we do, different things and right. whatever, but the things that we love that are our little recipes and whatever, I cannot say that I would ever give right. all of that up. Plus, who wants to, you know, we love jammy time around here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, I would miss eating out, but we haven't done that much of it in a long time, so no. we quickly adapted. So yeah, we did adapt. You know, we used to go out and get, you know, we still get takeout or delivery mm -hmm. but we used to go out to restaurants and stuff and I mean because of everything that went on in the past <laughs> couple of years now mm -hmm. um, I mean we've just really learned how to be at home and yeah we it. enjoy it when it happens you know when we do go out and I think we get itching to do that every once in a while but um, yeah we we like eating at home. Let us know in the comments which ones of these, maybe how you would answer them, or which one was the most difficult decision. For me, it was pizza tacos. Oh, that is difficult. That was a tough, sure. tough, tough decision for me. The rest of them, pretty, I could, yeah. I, I think that that was the toughest if I'm looking at it now. Yeah, chips and popcorn was kind of difficult. Mm-hmm. Anyway. 
If sure. you're not following us on social media, please come find us. Our links are in our channel banner. We are most active on Instagram. But we also have a TikTok if you're interested in that. But a lot of our TikToks we end up making into a short and you end up seeing it here anyway. So uh, right. we also have a game channel if you're into that sort of thing. We yeah, would appreciate your support over there. We're putting up new things all the time. And we would love your ideas of what kind of games you would like to see us play. Now, if you love playing games like we do, or food like we do, or us, or the video. video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. See That's you next it, time. Guys. Bye. Bye.